Hey guys, welcome back to RV Philosophy. In today's video, I'm with my steam colleague Steve Arino, and we are going to show you how and why to wax your RV. And to start with that, we have chosen a collinator wax, insulator wax. And Steve, can you tell us a little bit about this wax? Yeah, I found it to be very durable and uh, easy to work with. And uh, it, it seems to last a long time. Okay. It costs more than some of the other waxes. Why would anyone want to wax their RV? What are the benefits of waxing your RV? Uh, it protects it from UV rays so the paint doesn't get dull. Um, also, uh, it just keeps dirt and sap and things like that from sticking on it to the paint. And it shines, makes it look nice. Absolutely, and the water runs right off afterwards as well, yes. so that's an added benefit, correct? Right. Okay, well let's give them a quick rundown of how we do this. We have already pre-waxed a spot here so we can show you the removal process because you do have to let it wait about five minutes or so until it hazes up nice before you take it off. So we're going to show you the application over here, then removal over here. So I just put some on a applicator pad and just kind of spread it around some and then I take an orbital buffer and work in the wax. I'm overlapping about 50% just so it's rubbed in good. And how long do you typically wait? Uh, probably needs 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15, so, okay. Yeah. yeah, then after it's dried for a bit, 10 or 15 minutes, I just take a, a nice soft rag, and just wipe off the excess. You can see it pulls it off of there. That keeps from loading up your buffing pad. And then use a separate orbital buffer so I don't have to keep changing these pads. Okay, so this is a different one from the original one that you used to applicate the wax. That's correct. Okay. And then uh, just go over it with this and just kind of do nice easy movements overlapping about 50% again. Finally, just take another soft cloth and just kind of wipe the dust off in any place you might have missed with the orbital buffer. Okay. And what's the point of the final cloth? Just for anything you've missed? Yeah, anything you miss, like along these edges, it's hard okay. to get with the buffer. All right. So the places you can't get with the buffer, go ahead and use the hand cloth. Yeah. Okay. And you'll see uh, if it was a dark color, there would be some dust on there just from the buffer. Okay. And this would take that off. Excellent. All right, guys, this was a quick how-to and explanation video of how and why you want to wax your RV brought to you by Randall and Steve Arino. If you get a chance comment down below maybe you guys know a quicker easier way to wax your rv please let us know let us know how good looking this guy is thanks and if you haven't yet please subscribe